Okay, I want to record this video for in regards to a dream that I had tonight. Um, let me get it straight. I can remember that I was in a group of people and something was kind of going on. Something was going, um, something sneaky was going on. Um, the rumor was that somebody was lying about something and we weren't sure who it was. Um, and I think we had some sort of a suspicion, uh, but we weren't sure on it. And then a new person joined the group, a guy. And I somehow thought it might be him, but I somehow f kind of forgot it again. And um, my focus was back again on that other person that we thought that we were suspicious about. So the story goes that it comes to a showdown where we really like want to know who the heck lied. And so in the dream, I was, I was a guy too. In the dream, I was telling myself, okay, I, I can, I can channel this. I want to connect with that person that we are suspicious about to see if that person really lied or not. So that person, we made that person sit on a chair. I need on the floor and put my hands on that person's thigh to connect with that person. And in that very moment, to my right, enters this other guy, the new one in the group, enters the room through the door, and I all of a sudden knew it's him. It's not that person in front of me, but it's that other guy that joined the group newly. And I knew it's what, it was him who lied. He's the liar. He's kind of the cheater. And that was kind of the end of the dream. And then I have another sequence. I remember another sequence of a dream that I saw myself hanging upside down, uh, exactly like the hanged man in tarot. And I looked at my face and I saw that crazy, beautiful, big smile of mine, red lipstick, just laughing, just laughing and enjoying being there. And it reminded me of that, it reminded me of a look that I had in one of my videos that I made in regards to that I actually don't want to sell my work because it's always hustling. And I remember when I shooted that video and I just did it not for, not to publish it, just for myself. I remember that in that very moment when I said I actually don't want to sell my stuff because it's exhausting and it's truly not what I want and I think this is why it didn't happen so far. When I said that out loud it became so clear to me what my path is and it was so liberating it was so liberating and it touched me deeply to speak it out loud to not feel ashamed to not have had financial success with my work but to actually realize i haven't had that success because i didn't want it to and I, when I finished that video, I rewatched it and I paused it at a moment where uh, I was kind of really leaning back and laughing and I had that red lipstick and I took a snapshot 
of it and put it as a wallpaper on my phone to remind me what I truly want and that it is okay what I want. If I don't want to make money out of my work or like in actually in general, I, that is okay. That is totally legit. It's legit to have that wish. And I sometimes when I trust people, I tell them like my, my vision or my wish is actually to is actually to get retired <laughs> but I never would stop working it's just a form of retirement where you have enough funds and you just dedicate yourself or I would just dedicate myself to my work my messages my vision of bringing wealth like abundance wealth feeling good feeling in tune feeling attuned with self revealing mysteries of our existence helping people to have understanding and knowledge how to maneuver life and our capability and our powers to do that I would do all of that I wouldn't change anything other like I mean I'm already doing it um, I'm just sometimes very worried about um, financial matters but my work wouldn't change I love what I'm doing I just don't want to hustle for the money because I feel like it's intoxicating it's poisoning people and it's poisoning even people in the spiritual environment who are working in that environment so the dream with me being the hanged man kind of reminded me of that 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 is it's like having a different perspective than maybe the way we all live it's a different perspective of life it's a, and not only how life works but or how you can create your life but it's it's the substance of life it's why are we living in a way that really makes us hustle and suffer if there are other possibilities like why and people always say there are not more possibilities and I'm like no that ain't true it's like everybody who knows the rules about above so ab so above so below and so below as above so below and as below so above knows that we create our own reality just by thinking just by thinking about it and feeling it so everything is possible so I have that vision for myself and I think that hanged man position in my dream wanted me to remind myself of that, that <laughs> it just was so funny to see myself like that. It's like hanging upside down, one would think it's pretty uncomfortable, but actually it wasn't for me. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> And I actually do. It's like I like to challenge the status quo because I think, especially when I see it's harmful, especially when I see it's harmful. And I think the way we live, that we are so tied in and so rigid structures is, is very unhealthy and, and very harmful very harmful to a degree that i mean people are dying to be honest and we don't have to uh yeah we don't have to and i want to start with myself i want to start with myself putting myself out of that hanging myself upside down getting myself into a new reality 
where I have the funds to live and yet live freely in a way that I can unbond myself from that monetary system. Yeah. We should always believe in what we dream. I think this is how we change our reality for the better.